We have an exciting show here today. Sure about that? When we went on... Yeah, it was an awesome show. What are you okay. talking about? I think Craig watched the wrong show. Meh. I, with Craig going in. Bro, both of you. Man. Meh. I think I think maybe I watched the wrong show. How dare we have an opinion? Well, you know, I don't like when people... Uh, have an opinion, I know. No. I Can I finish? I don't like when people get upset about other people's opinions. I see. Except when what? they're upset about my opinion. Excuse that I can't me. handle. This is ridiculous. This one million dollar mullet that he has. It was like, fabulous. Like like Pompadour in the front and party in the back. <laughs> the best five seconds on this entire show was Bobby Heenan alone running down a hallway, falling down, jumping to his feet, leaping behind him, waving his arms out like a madman. He was every scared teenager running f- through the lake from Jason Voorhees. Sure. The Blow Away Diet, introduced by Playboy Buddy Rose. He pours cornstarch or flour. It's blow. Thank you. I don't think they would Vinny, waste that. The Blow Away Diet. Yes. Now, I have it on good authority that uh, Buddy Rose did not like cocaine, but he did enjoy the smell. Mm. He sprays the stuff in his eye and his, his cornea falls off. Apparently. Or whatever that thing sure. is right there. Is that the cornea? Is uvia. That's something else. I thought only women had the. You're, uh, Craig, you're such a gross. What is the middle part of your eyeball called? The the choroid. But we were all wrong. But I was just trying to do a bit. Sorry for trying to back up your bit. Fucked it up. I didn't, right. I didn't fuck it up. Yeah, you. I backed it up. I made it. I enhanced it. Maybe the bit you was fucked just it bad. Up. I, I read did. the stupidest tweet. Let's talk to Granny first. All right. Granny was telling us before we went on the air how she almost had a fire. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Way to pay attention, Brian. Oh, here we go. Your job as a journalist... <laughs> More important ...is to influence... Arson. Well, she didn't. Your job as a journalist is to influence the masses. That's why I feel you guys could help condition fans to better behavior. No. We're not preachers. We are somewhere between journalist and clown. Every heel should be watching Wiley Wiley Coyote Coyote in the Roadrunner. Absolutely. Because he's the greatest heel. He's always got some plan. It always backfires. And not only does it backfire, but in a humorous manner. Bear by Cena. Lasts it long. Pulls out and bangs him on the hood of the car. He had such a hard on him that Batista... Next came the 1991 Royal Rumble. Competitors enter the ring in sequence by drawing lots. It Wait, took the <laughs> by drawing lots. Did we do this last time? I believe so. Yeah, I said that. So do it next week too. <laughs> okay, keep going. That's it. <laughs> can you mark is... it so we can read the next part next week? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I could get you a bookmark. I only read a couple of paragraphs out of each page. I okay. see. So the bookmark was in the right spot. You just yeah. started over again. Yeah. So I there's just... a decent chance it's going to happen again next week. Kurt's feeling has returned to his arms and legs, and he yeah. has not, I repeat, not suffered a hairline fracture of his neck. Can Kurt. we get a? Can we get an accurate report on the status of Kurt Angle? What happened to HIPAA laws? That's what I want. <laughs> Uh, pin after a boot. Every time we talk about a boot, I think of Lance. Maybe every time we think he's saying about, he's actually talking about a boot. What? Every time we think he's saying about, he's actually really talking about his boot. Dynamite, 1.102 million viewers on Wednesday. This AW, four straight weeks above 1 million. This seems to be like, this is where they're going to be. Dexter Loomis is doing some drawings and looking into the camera. Ikiman is just like, what an underutilized, talented man. Just in here doing jobs in his jacket. Now, Brian, you still watch Raw and SmackDown? I ask this sincerely. Is no, anyone there's no better baby face in the than entire Grimes. company doing better than Cameron Grimes right now? No. Dude, Adam Cole got dropped on his head with a brain buster on the steps last week. Remember how long Kyle O'Reilly was out of action when that happened? A while. Cole's back next week doing a face-to-face. Yeah. yeah. We get to a segment that for 48 hours now, I've been trying to wrap my head around. 
Zoe Stark is a baby face. No. Io Shirai decided for some reason that she doesn't like Zoe Stark. Based on this segment, it's very clear to me. But here's the thing, Vinny. Like, she didn't like her before this skit. She has good instincts. She's so pathetic and lonely and desperate for any kind of friend that she must harass Io, who clearly wants nothing to do with her. There's a lot to make fun of Zoe Stark in this skit about, but that's not fair. She wants to be friends with Io because they are the tag team champions. The punchline, I guess the punchline, I don't know what this was, but... Yeah, what a punchline. Zoe asks, are you from Japan? And she says, no, I'm from Kansas. This was a swing and a miss. But it's one of those things where I read it, and then I read what happens after, and I'm like, somebody got something wrong. So I watched it, and it actually happened. Exactly as was reported in the spoilers. Which, by the way, were not spoilers from JJ. There was somebody else who was madly tweeting spoilers from the Capitol Wrestling Center, and they didn't get kicked out, but that's another story. I would recommend watching this match, but do yourself a favor and skip the first, we'll say, three minutes. Yeah, the first three minutes of this match was really weird, because... If by weird you mean terrible, I got the impression that they were on completely different pages of different books written in different languages on different subjects. I don't think it was that bad. For, for a while, but dude, it was it was not very good. Were you aware that MJF is, in fact, the fifth labor? I think, I think in his initial promo, he said that he would be the fifth labor. He did. Yeah. I thought that there were five labors and then MJF. Lance has been flooded with messages from people asking if he's going to be the fifth labor. Ah. So I was definitely not the only one here. No. And he totally marks out that it's the real sting. Then this fucking cannonball named Darby Allen wipes him out. This was a party is what this was. It was great. It was a party. They're doing all these fancy shots with the, the basketball. But at some point, they were alerted. There was some sort of, of uh, technical issue, and they had to start over. Okay. So they had to make all their shots and everything again. So Britt challenges her to a match in Pittsburgh, her hometown, where she's going to be a massive baby face. Then they attack her with a crutch and lay her out two on one. To set up a match in Pittsburgh where she's going to be a massive babyface. And I'm just very, very confused. If you compare when she was a babyface to when she's a heel, she's much better now. She's much better now, but she can do this character and this persona and these promos, but be booked like a babyface. But she's just wearing the tightest pants you've ever seen. <laughs> and her uh, breasts are like going out to here. And she's standing there, and every announcer is trying so hard to be as politically correct as possible when talking about her physique. I was crying. They got Malachi Black more over in four minutes than he was over at any point during years on the main roster. And he's taken off his boot to leave in the ring to retire. And all of a sudden, Malachi comes in and he swacks him with this fucking crutch. And Cody goes down and he's dead. And the fans who loved Malachi, but now they're like, fuck you, Alistair. Al Malachi, whatever your fucking name is. Fuck you. And they're so mad. Oh, my God. And the show goes off the air. This was the greatest. It was the greatest. Did I mention the show wins this week? I think so. Fuck me. She's penciling it for next week, too. This is a hell of a show. Yeah, 10-8 this week, I'd uh, say. Yeah, EW wins. Yeah.